Welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we are going to be taking a look at the pop television number 1379, Family Matters, Laura Winslow. <laughs> All right, so here we have the Pop Television Warner Brothers 100 celebrating every story, number 1379, Family Matters, Laura Winslow. As you can see, tell this is probably uh, from midway through the series uh, while she's in high school. You can tell by her hair and her clothing style. I, I'm not sure which episode she appeared uh, in that outfit. I do remember seeing her in that outfit, though. Laura was played by Kelly Shanine Williams. Uh, she appeared in 215 episodes, uh, which means she appeared in every single episode of Family Matters uh, between 1989 and 1998. Here's a look at the side of the box. Here's a look at the display side. And then we take a look at the back. We got, we already reviewed Carl and Eddie. Now we're on Laura. Next time, we'll be taking a look at Stefan Urkel and Steve Urkel. Uh, so let's go ahead and open those box and take a look at Laura. All right, so Laura does come in a clamshell packaging with a stand. Uh, the stand was pretty loose in the, in the box, so I just kind of set it in there for now. We'll set that out. We'll unsnap the clamshell. Um... Yeah, that's why she came with a stand. She uh, cannot stand very well on her own. So let's go ahead and put her on her base. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't be displaying her uh, out of the box. The peg broke as I was trying to turn her. Um, that's no good. I hate that. That sucks. <laughs> um, and I can't use a different base either because yeah, that peg's pretty well stuck in there. Um, so yeah, she, there's no way to stand her up on her own. Um, that really sucks. But as you can see, she's got her high school night 90s style bob haircut uh, i've always liked this hairstyle in girls um i don't know I, I think laura really popularized it maybe um maybe not maybe it was popular before she started wearing it um I've, but i've always liked it uh that hairstyle in girls as you can see the hair is a separate piece it's uh placed in the pop head and the pop head is really solid um i imagine if if it, the head was hollow she might be able to stand on her own um well i doubt it because the feet aren't exactly flat yeah one foot has the heel raised um, so be careful with the peg, um, make sure it, when you put her on it, um, it is exactly where you want it. Don't try turning it, um, to get her in the perfect spot. Once it's, once she's placed, the, uh, peg will not hold up. Um, she's got a red jacket, uh, striped shirt underneath black, uh, skirt, and it looks like black socks with black shoes. Forgive me, guys. Uh, as I said in the Carl Winslow video, I am filming these back to back, releasing them a week at a time. I am dealing with some congestion. Woke well, due to the weather change. Woke up with a stuffy nose. I was breathing through my mouth most of the night. Uh, really sucks. But let's get back to lore. She's got her yellow earrings. Um, nice little. It looks like. They gave her a little bit of a beauty mark there, unless it's an error. Uh, they gave her a mouse, a mouse, mouth, unlike the other uh, pop. Uh, 
I guess they kind of gave Carl a mouth, um, or at least they gave him a mustache anyway. <laughs> I gave her some eyelashes. I tell you, back in the day, back in the 90s, I had a crush on Laura Winslow. Um, she was very, very pretty actress. Um, still very pretty. Um, just don't see her in much anymore. And there was a mo a Christmas movie that came out that I happened to cross. I want to say on the Roku channel or something uh, this past Christmas. It was called, called A Family Matters Christmas. It had Kelly Shanine Williams and Joe Marie Payton in it. None of the rest of the cast of Family Matters. Um, it had another title, but Roku um, advertised it as A Family Matters Christmas for whatever reason. Um, I didn't watch it because, you know, it was just a cash grab on the Family Matters name, basically. Um, if it would have actually been a Family Matters Christmas, I would have watched it. Um, I, I think they should do a requel series to Family Matters. Um, bring back Joe Marie Payton. She was replaced midway through final season um by another actress be, due to contract disputes and because she didn't like the way the uh series was moving in more into sci-fi rather than a traditional family sitcom um the series was supposed to be based around joe marie payton's character harriet winslow and her husband uh carl played by reginald villa johnson um they were recurring characters on Perfect Strangers. And so executives decided to give them their own spinoff and it became Family Matters. And then about midway through the first season, they s introduced Steve Urkel and it more or less became the Urkel show after that. Um, Laura was usually the most level-headed character on the show. You know, she was, she was very smart, very popular. Um, she was the one that a lot of people could actually relate to. And yeah, I just, I wish I could display her with the rest of her, uh, family matters, family, um, just like this I, on her stand or whatever. Um, which let's go ahead and bring in Eddie and we'll bring in Carl to show you the height difference. Um, it's kind of hard there. Let's go ahead and bring this down. As you can see, Eddie's the tallest one because of his hair. Um, Laura's a little bit shorter than Carl, um, which is pretty much how it was in the series as well. Uh, but I love these characters so much. Uh, I When I came across Carl and saw they actually had a Family Matters uh, Pops, I, I had to get them all. So I went on Amazon and I ordered the rest of them. Um, next week, we'll be looking at Stefan Urkel. And the following week will be Steve Urkel. Um, maybe vice versa. I don't know. I haven't decided on that much yet. Um, but anyway, uh, let me know what your favorite episode of Family Matters was. Um, I do have, um, I'm not sure if it's aired yet by the time this has uh, been published or not. But I did just finish the script for history and origins of TGIF um, that I'm going to probably record maybe tomorrow, um, maybe next week. I'm not 100% sure. But I do have other episodes I'm planning on as well, such as the history and origins of Fox Kids uh, and things like that. I'm moving the channel into 
more all geek culture as it was originally intended rather than just being about superheroes and stuff like that. Uh, I know I've done a lot of Ghostbusters uh, videos on this channel. Ghostbusters still qualifies as superhero related or superhero adjacent. Um, same with pulp heroes like the Phantom, the Shadow, and the Rocketeer. They are all superhero adjacent. Um, and I, I want to do more other geek culture related stuff. Um, you know, we've got 90s con that's out now. Um, so I want to do more with other TV series uh, that I grew up on. And movies and books and can but still continue to bring you guys um pop reviews action figure reviews comic books um stuff like that uh, it, it's just very difficult to be to have a uh, reliable schedule right now with video releases because i am currently working on my master's degree and i'm a substitute teacher on top of that plus family life so i'm I'm basically stuck just filming when I have free time, which is rarely nowadays. Um, I do have another year and a half left on my master's degree. And then I'll be a full-time uh, counselor and I may, I'll likely have a little bit more time um, to produce content for this channel and my other channels. Um, I have been producing a little bit of content for one of my other channels. It's the, uh, my SM Cornthwaite channel. Uh, I've been doing a lot of mental health and goth oriented videos. Um, and then I've got psych macabre, which I have not done an, a full length video on in well over a year. Um, dealing with serial killers, true crime, paranormal and stuff like that. Um, I really need to get it, get back into. And then I've got my vlogging channel that I've been filming stuff for, but have not been able to get around to editing and publishing yet. Um, so I'm currently on a two week break from school in between quarters. So I'm going to try to get out uh, at least as many videos as I can while also taking a break from work and school. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, geeks. It's the bigger love of the family. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out one of these two playlists for more videos just like the one you just watched. I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.